Remembrance Day, Rainbow Creek Elementary, November 2020. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Remembrance Day service. Rocky View Schools acknowledges and recognizes all the Indigenous peoples whose footprints have marked these lands from time immemorial. Together, we can learn and honor the ways of knowing of Indigenous peoples and all peoples for future generations. Today, we celebrate and remember those who have served our country and gave us the freedom we have today. Please remember that this is a solemn and quiet presentation. Show your respect and thank you in advance for good behavior. We will begin today with Makira Vanderstelt to lay our Remembrance Day wreath. Please stand and sign O Canada. O Canada, signed by Mrs. Warner. as a lion, read by Mrs. Reif. Proud as a Peacock, Brave as a Lion, by Jane Barclay. My papa was a soldier. When he was 17 years old, he lied about his age so he could join the army and fight for our country in the war. I'm on his bed, studying a picture of him in his uniform. His hair is too short and his pants are too long. Papa, I ask him, why did you lie about your age? Well, he says, so many other boys were joining and I didn't want to be left behind. I couldn't wait to put on that uniform. As soon as I did, I felt proud as a peacock. Proud as a peacock, I ask? Proud as that, he answers. He struts across the floor with his chest puffed out and his belly pulled in. He stops in front of the mirror and combs his hair and put, pats some shaving lotion on his cheeks. He smiles at his reflection, but beneath my papa's smile, I see the serious young man in the photograph. My papa crossed the ocean. The war was far away, and he went on a long journey to get there. He said goodbye to his mom and dad and his sweetheart, Betty. He promised to write them letters every week. Papa, I ask him, weren't you lonely? Sometimes I was, he says, but so was everybody else. Besides, my best friend Stuart was with me. There was always something to see or do on the ship. Most of the time, we are as busy as beavers. Busy as beavers, I ask? Busy as that, he answers. He whistles through his teeth as he irons his collar. He tucks in his shirt tails and rubs the polishing cloth across his shoes until they shine like new. He reaches in the drawer for a pair of socks and I glimpse a bundle of letters tied with faded ribbon. He smiles as he touches it with his fingers. But beneath my papa's smile, I know he's missing Grandma Betty. My papa was a hero. There were guns and fire and smoke. He crawled on his belly through the noise and the mud and pulled three men to safety. The army gave him a special medal that he keeps in a leather case. Papa, I ask him, weren't you scared? 
When I was a lad, he says, I thought I wasn't afraid of anything. Then, when something frightening did happen, I pretended to be brave as a lion. Brave as a lion, I ask? Brave as that, he answers. I help him fasten his medal above the pocket of his blazer. Sometimes my papa's hands shake, so he needs to borrow mine. He smiles as he gives me a poppy to pin on my jacket. He looks very proud, but beneath my papa's smile, I hear the bad dream that woke him in the night. My papa marches in the parade. The crowds cheer and claps as the veterans go by. Some are young, some are old, some sit in wheelchairs, and some walk past, holding on to others. I stand at attention. The music stops, and there is a minute of silence. A cold wind sends dry leaves skittering past my feet. I am as quiet as a mouse, as quiet as that. My papa lays a wreath. He carefully places it at the base of the monument. Attached is a card that reads, In loving memory of Stuart David Adams, 1923 to 1944. My papa salutes, then he steps back and dabs his eyes with his handkerchief. He puts his hands over his heart. I do the same, and I can almost touch the ache. Papa, I whisper, why are you crying? I am remembering, he says, a war is something you will never forget. Elephants never forget, I tell him. Then let's be elephants, he says. A soft rain falls as a bugler trumpets his notes up in the cold gray sky. We link our hands and bow our heads. Poem in Flanders Fields, presented by Grade 3. A message from a Canadian veteran. Paul Richards is a veteran from Surrey, British Columbia. This morning, he has a message for all of us at Rainbow Creek Elementary School. I've made this video today because I can't come and be with you to mark Remembrance Day in person. So I grew up in Vancouver and I had a 30 year career in the RCMP after graduating from Simon Fraser University. Now, during that 30-year career, I was overseas extensively. On two occasions, in 1999, I was a peacekeeper and I went to Kosovo. During that time, I was part of a crime scene investigation team from Canada that investigated mass killings in Kosovo that had occurred in the war that had just finished there. Years later, in 2006, I was seconded to the Canadian Armed Forces as an intelligence officer, and I worked in southern Afghanistan for a year in 2006. Now, in those postings abroad, wherein I became a veteran, 
I was witness to the effects of war, poverty, of disease, and of crime on innocent civilians, including young people, younger and the same age as yourselves. Now, that has a profound effect on people, and like most veterans, I went overseas so I could help other people. I wanted to help them achieve a sense of justice and security in their societies. I also wanted to ensure that the th terrible things that had happened over there didn't happen in Canada. And so by bringing justice and security in faraway places, you trust and you hope that the same things will never happen. Because when you're abroad, you realize as a veteran and that when you're serving, the many, many gifts that we have in our society in Canada. We have peace. We have prosperity. We have education and health care. They're all things to be very, very proud of and are the envy of the world. As a result, I was filled with a great sense of patriotism and pride as a Canadian, both in serving and also about the society that I had left behind in Canada. I was proud of what we have and the values that we cherish. Now, November 11th is a day which we mark for those who have served, for those who died, were wounded, and are missing in the cause of defending and pursuing those values that I spoke of. It's a solemn day. It's not a holiday. It's a very solemn occasion in which we mark a remembrance for those who gave sacrifices, including the ultimate sacrifice of dying for our future. So today, I ask you, as a veteran, simply to take a moment of your time and on Remembrance Day to show respect for those who gave so much, including the ultimate sacrifice for our society and for all Canadians. I thank you for your time today and your demonstration of respect on Remembrance Day. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Le souvenir est fondamental pour définir d'où je viens, qui je suis et où je m'en vais. I respect Remembrance Day because it's such an important date and such an important time. C'est important de se souvenir not just one single day, November 11. Le 11 du 11e mois à 11 heures. I think it's more than just saying Thank you for your service. It's also about the human side and not just the faceless soldier side. Remembrance Day, I just think about Passchendaele, Omaha Beach, Juneau Beach. Ce qu'on a fait pour les autres pays. 400,000 people took part in D-Day. La guerre de Corée. Hill 187. Stabilization in Congo. Qu'est-ce qui est arrivé en Haïti? The children of Afghanistan. The genocide that lasted 100 days. For me, it's to remember the fallen. Toutes les camarades avec qui j'ai combattu. I remember my husband, Corporal Bryce Keller. J'ai le capitaine Nicolas Godard dans mon cœur. Jean-Guy, mon ami. Caporal Chef Byron Dreff. The families and the civilians and, and the people who have to deal with war in the places we've been. I remember World War I veterans when I was growing up. I remember Chinese Canadian in World War II. Ces gens-là ont fait des choses qui sont extraordinaires. They're the heroes. They gave their life. La raison pourquoi je suis ici, la raison pourquoi je porte cet uniforme, vient de ce qui a été fait par mes prédécesseurs. We have what we have in Canada today. We thank to our forefathers who have gone before us. I'm not a hero. I'm a survivor. Pour ces gens-là, ça vaut la peine de se souvenir puis de montrer du respect envers eux. Le souvenir continue de me propulser, de me motiver et de me convaincre d'accomplir la mission qui m'est assignée.
The Last Post, played by Luke Golden from Chestermere High School. Please stand for a minute of silence. We will end today by showing the many connections that students at Rainbow Creek have to those who have served. Please enjoy our Hall of Heroes video.
Thank you for joining us today. We would like to say a special thank you to Mrs. Reif for reading us a story, to Makira for helping us lay our wreath, to the veteran Paul Richards for his speech, to Luke Golden for his trumpet playing, and to the Remembrance Day Committee for assembling this video. Thank you to everyone who has joined us here today. That concludes our ceremony.